All right, guys, today we're going to take a look at something different. It's a, a brand of cotton, titanium fiber cotton, right? Titanium fiber cotton. Now, just a, uh, we'll just do a quick close up to show you because and it's, it's cotton, right? I'm just going to show you how it looks like, etc., how it wicks and um, how you do a bill on it, etc. But uh, before we get to that, you know, in vaping, it's like if there's even a 1% chance of something being misunderstood by some anybody out there even if there's a one percent chance because people tend to get very paranoid uh, in the vape community so yeah even if it's one percent chance i think you shouldn't take the chance this thing is called titanium fiber cotton there is no titanium inside just in case you're wondering like i said you should probably think it's dumb but maybe there's a one percent of vapors out there who assume that is there some kind of titanium blend going on in this no it's just organic Cotton, no titanium, zero percent titanium. Let's take a look. <laughs> titanium fiber cotton packaging. Open it up. So it comes in rolls like this. You have two rolls, and obviously I've used one for quite a while now. And each roll you can roughly estimate like about two inches or an inch and a half cut it split it down the middle and this should be a good starting point for a three millimeter inner diameter coil now as far as the fibers of the cotton goes you know you can see that they are combed right so they are all straight line compared to things like kendo for example the older kendo not the gold edition kendo which is kind of jumbled up the fibers so this one yeah you can see in terms of the feel it feels pretty much like cotton bacon i i cannot tell you that there's anything different from this uh with this compared to anything else that i've tried except that it's it's nice it's white it's fluffy and it's obviously a lot more processed than some other types of organic cotton like kojendo etc uh because you cannot see any of the seeds, the cotton seeds, the tiny seeds. In the cogen dough, for example, you can still see some of that. Right? So this one has been processed a little bit more. So I have a 2.5 millimeter coil in here. We're going to do some wicking. Just remove some of that. I like to thin out the very edge of the cotton. Makes it easier for me to squeeze it. Pull it through. Trim, trim. Grab my tweezers. Just put the corn in. Let's give it a squonk. This is the basic RDA. Very, very good RDA, a higher end atomizer, but it is uh, one of the top rated. RDAs that I've tried uh, this year and review up on my channel as well as well as for the mod which is a vicious and spade and we are good to go The flavor is good, man. I mean, it's not the first time I'm using it, of course. So, here's the thing. It's very hard for me to tell you, uh, give you a review on, on cotton. Basically, I can tell you, oh, unless I, I decide to do the whole Wicking Wars thing, which is, uh, you can check it out. Wicking Wars is such my channel for Wicking Wars. I test the different brands of cotton. So, unless I get back to that, it's really, it's not much for me to, to tell you. I can just tell you, does it suck or does it not suck? It does not suck. It's actually pretty good. The flavor that I'm getting from titanium fiber cotton is pretty good. Uh, however, is it better than Kojendo and Rayon? And those two are, uh, in the test that I've done previously, the best flavor, pure flavor, right off from, from right off the start from when you wick it, the best flavor, Kojendo and uh, Rayon. In fact, Rayon was the, the winner for that particular series. <sighs> Yeah, so Rayon, you can get really pure flavor right off. Um, 
uh, on especially on tanks and single coils, etc. And it, it uh, and Ko Jendo as well. It performed better than a lot of other stuff, including uh, Kendo Vape Cotton, for example. Kendo Vape Cotton. Uh, it has its own strength as well. It, it performs very well in RDA, high temperature kind of setups, dual coil. It soaks up lots of liquid. There's some cons, it's hard to wick and stuff like that. It doesn't perform really good in tanks. So there's pros and cons for everything. So for the titanium fiber cotton, I can say clean flavor, very good flavor. Is it the best flavor? I don't think so. Um, but it's very, very good flavor. And... Um, there is a uh, no cotton taste every time i wicked on this right away no cotton taste no breaking time so very clean pure flavor and um, the other thing about titanium fiber cotton is you take a look at the pictures right now i'm going to show you so these two setups that you see here i've been using titanium fiber cotton for four days right so fixate on this picture for a while done now let me show you the other picture now this is the picture of uh Kogen Do, you know, other stuff, you know, Kogen Do, cotton bacon is about the same actually. Uh, it, it all has some kind of shrinkage. You can see the cotton basically shrinks a little bit, right? So you don't see that happening with the titanium fiber cotton, which is what I'm told is one of the plus points, the pros of, <coughs> excuse me, of titanium fiber cotton. So there you go. It will last long. Translation, okay, it will last you a long time so a tin like this nine dollars the pricing is going to be all over the place i can see nine us dollars i can see 1090 australian dollars i can see euro nine dollars euro pricing is always more expensive like what the you know nine i mean nine euro and you have also nine us dollars yeah so it's going to be about that and i think for how long it lasts it's not that bad actually i mean this thing can last me me for about a month now for you who don't have to review all kinds of shit every single day and test out every single day and you know basically throw cotton away probably will last you maybe two months or three months so it's not the cheapest code gen do you can get a big bag like this muji as well that will last you maybe a year or maybe two years you probably end up ruining the rest of the cotton before you actually get to you know the last piece of uh, cotton square uh, in in that particular bag. So that's obviously very very cheap. If you're really looking to save money, and this is not it, but for nine bucks, it's not that bad. I mean, it it vapes good, no cotton taste, clean flavor, and it lasts pretty long. Overall, I would say yeah, titanium fiber cotton, thumbs up. But there is no titanium in titanium fiber cotton. I wish there was one thing they would change. Like I said, it's, it's a ridiculous, I don't know, it sounds ridiculous, but there's a 1% chance someone would say, titanium, is that safe to be vaped? Then I think they should avoid putting titanium or any kind of metal, you know, nickel fiber cotton or whatever, uh, gold fiber cotton, you know, this just, just, uh, just not put it in the name at all. Okie dokie, no more smoky.